So we'll start here the clean and jerk session first time. Before doing clean and jerks, I'm liking to do some uh, back extension. I will show you here one, two sets. I to use this machine because I have uh, short legs. Let's see if uh, I think this one is recording. So what I'm doing here, I'm like to stay with my uh, upper back a bit rounded here. And when I go up, I try to squeeze my glutes. four sets 15 reps a common mistake here that I see that a lot of uh, people are doing that they do this exercise too much from their low back so it's looking like something like here where they don't focus a lot at all sorry on upper back you need to try to keep it a bit rounded and uh, contract your glutes when you are uh, going up First set, 15 reps, I'll do one more. I'm feeling uh, very good after doing this one. My whole core, glutes, hamstring, and everything. I have uh, pretty tight hamstrings, and I'm uh, enjoying this exercise a lot. So let's do one more. in the position here, upper back, upper back rounded. This is meaning to fire up your glutes. Very good exercise. We'll record here with two cameras. So we have the clean and jerks. Here are the clean and jerks, same like at uh, Muscle snatches, I'm liking to start with some uh, muscle cleans. So I'll do here some muscle cleans. Sometimes I add some uh, strict press, push press, some light uh, split jerk. It's uh, important here to practice a, a lot.
show you here how I'm using these knee wraps, sorry, wrist wraps. Very simple basic from pharmacy. Pretty cheap as well. I have on my website gabrielsincram.com a strength calculator for uh, clean and jerk. I will let you hear the link in the description if you want to check it out. It will help you a lot that uh, calculator if you have a goal. For example, if you are, uh, I don't know, dreaming to clean and jerk 100, 120, 150 kilograms, no matter the weight where you enter your clean and jerk goal in the calculator, after that it will be uh, calculated your uh, supposed weights that you need to do first time in back squat, front squat, deadlift, push press and strict press. These are some uh, very good uh, strength exercise for clean and jerk and uh, if you have uh, those exercise, if you can uh, do them and uh, your clean and jerk it's uh, lower, this means you need to work more on, on your technique. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, but uh, if you can do more in the clean and jerk, this means that you need to work more on your strength. You will uh, see here, there are a lot of uh, disbalances as well because it's pretty hard to have them uh, all at uh, the required level. So probably you'll be stronger in your legs, you'll be stronger on your upper body and uh, you need to adjust your training based on this one and uh, try to incorporate some strength uh, so more strength exercise even for lower or upper body. Doing here same two three sets. Usually I promote this one around the four sets, but it's more based on your feeling. So if you feel well after doing uh, two three sets, you can start with uh, clean and jerk. The purpose of the exercise is to warm up a bit. Not necessary to complete there. I need to do four sets, five sets. If you understand what I mean. I'll do one more here and after that I will start the full clean and jerks. Let's hope this uh, lavalier will work, entire workout, because uh, it's first time when I use it like that. And I'm training, until now seems that everything is okay. We will use here some uh, tape as well. Here I'm using as well normal tape from a pharmacy, pretty cheap. I'm not uh, liking those ones that are online, that uh, they are uh, stretchy when uh, you use them. I like uh, this one that uh, they are tight.
because it's important here when you are at second pull and you want to be aggressive and you want to be powerful there if you have uh, those tape that it's uh, more for crossfit say like that because uh, when you are doing uh, light weights with 40 50 kilograms they will be very good it will protect your hands but here at uh, Ken and York or Asnatch, where you want to be powerful it's important to have uh, this tape that uh, not be stretch. I don't know how it's called, stretch. I don't know exactly. <laughs> First set here with uh, pin and jerk, 60 kilograms. So here we have a first set, clean and jerk. Clean and jerk it's much harder exercise than the snatch. So you will see a lot of weightlifter that uh, after a while, after they pass so much, they will only do snatch, back squats and uh, split jerk from rack or uh, power jerk from rack because uh, Snatch, it's a more uh, technique exercise and uh, you can do it much more often. You don't uh, require that much strength like at uh, clean and jerk. And that's why for clean and jerk, the strength calculator is more accurate. And uh, for snatch, it's uh, pretty hard to have uh, something similar because uh, there it's uh, more technique. And it's not uh, working uh, same all the time and uh, this is uh, my plan to still be able to do clean and jerk for uh, as long as possible and that's why I'm trying to do at least one time per week full clean and jerk this means to do a full clean and uh, split jerk in same not on the Separate like doing first time uh, split jerk from racks and after that uh, blow cleans or some other shit only uh, Full clean and jerk because this is a hard exercise and uh, I'm like uh, doing the hard things So for me, how I calculate uh, here at uh, Clean and Jerk, I'm uh, referring a lot to the snatch. So for example, if I can do snatch 150 kilograms, because snatch is easier and you can perform much more often, it's easier to find out your uh, one max because uh, you can attempt thing one remax much more often and uh, my plan is if i'm uh, doing 150 snatch one remax to be able to do clean and jerk two plus two with the one remax from snatch so two plus two with 150 kilograms and uh, here when i'm uh, speaking about uh, two plus two it's to do one clean one jerk one clean one jerk very important because if you do two cleans and after that two jerks it's uh, not the uh, same result because uh, for some athletes it's easier the jerk so if you if you complete only one clean and after that you drop the barbell down you can uh, probably do another clean because it's easier but if you do the jerk you'll become much more tired and uh, Second cleaner jerk, it will become a third lift 
and uh, the difficulty it's increased, especially at uh, higher weights. So this is uh, something uh, very good if you don't want, like me, to try to do most of the time RMX at uh, clean and jerks. It's uh, not my goal. My goal now that you know, it's uh, to be able to double, to do one clean, one jerk, one clean, one jerk with uh, my snatch. And uh, when I can do that one, this means that my strength for clean and jerk, it's uh, quite good, quite high. I am a very good prepared. And if I want, or if I feel needed to do a one remax, I am uh, prepared to do that uh, one remax in the clean and jerk as well. So here it's uh, 100. We'll start here with doubles. One clean, one jerk, one clean, one jerk. And uh, we will continue like that. most of the time two sets at each lift here at uh, clean and jerk especially here at uh, warm-up sets so two sets at 100 after that we'll add 120 we'll do same and from 120 usually I'm going 10 kilograms jump so I'll be doing 130 140 and uh, from there we will see how I'm feeling Now my lately, my best match this year was uh, from uh, the training camp when I was in the Kale Gradish day. I did an easy 150 snatch. So this it will be the plan to do doubles with uh, 150, one clean, one jerk, one clean, one jerk with 150. Next month, in June, we'll have a second training camp for this year. Was uh, fully booked as well, six places, and uh, the people will uh, come. It will be very nice. I will uh, set up after this camp another one, probably in September or something like that. I'll announce anyway on my social media, but I really like these camps and uh, can't wait to go next month again in the Kelly Gradish day and do there some uh, very good trainings with the athletes from the camp. So let's continue here with the clean and jerk to be prepared. Okay, here at 100. That position is a bit different here than the snatch because of the grip. Here, because I have a narrower grip, my torso is more vertical, I have a short legs, shoulders slightly in front of the barbell. But it uh, depends here about your, uh, about your uh, body weight and uh, your proportion. Because if you are short, your shoulders it will be more right above the barbell. And if you are taller, they will be a bit more in front. So for set 120. Oh! <laughs> 
uh, the split jerk it's uh, very interesting because uh, only now from this weight from uh, 120 I feel that I can use uh, properly the legs on the drive so up to this weight at uh, 60 100 where the weight is below my body weight for example where it's uh, feeling uh, very light it's uh, pretty hard to use properly the legs and there and not uh, completing the drive I'm uh, doing mostly arms and uh, this is uh, very important when you try to learn split jerk because uh, if you are trying to do with a weight that it's too light for you will uh, probably try years and uh, you will not uh, succeed to understand in jerk because here in order to complete that drive and uh, to feel that you use properly the legs you need the weight to be the weight on the barbell to be over your uh, body weight so i'm uh, having 90 kilos and uh, from here i am uh, starting to feel uh, very well the drive and that the split jerk it's uh, coming in place focusing a lot here on the start position as well to have my uh, back and everything in the good balance when I take in the barbell from the ground I'm uh, trying to put a bit of uh, tension as well here in the barbell when I'm engaging my lats and after that I am taking the barbell from the ground I, I was learning through my uh, career and uh, by performing a lot of reps to be very very good from a start position and uh, this is uh, my secret in the clean to say like that my start position I can use my legs my lats and my back in a very good timing there and uh, in the transition I learned it as well to use my arms because uh, before when I was not using it I was ending the cleans by a deadlift by doing a deadlift and uh, this is uh, very important to have patience and uh, to use arms after barbell is passing your hips and I want I'm uh, focusing here and keep telling from uh, muscle snatch muscle clean as well to have your elbows abo above barbell so I'm uh, trying to go here something like that it's a bit exaggerated but when the barbell is reaching here I'm trying to pull myself under and to be very very powerful so let's replicate that one with barbell I really like this uh, Klinger session because they are very demanding. You feel them properly, especially if you follow my uh, programs from the app. And uh, if you start training, you will see that there are working sets. You have a two minutes pause between sets and uh, it's even more difficult especially when you are reaching there around 75 80 percent of your clean and jerk to do two plus two with uh, two minutes pause between sets you need a, a very good uh, capacity to do that one so let's hope I'll complete here uh, 2 plus 2 at uh, 130 with a good set. Usually here at 130, if I am uh, satisfied about the sets, about the technique, about how the clean and the jerk it's uh, feeling, I'm uh, adding more 140, but uh, if the set it's not properly and I feel that uh, something was not uh, very well there, I will uh, redo 
all the time on the sets. So this is a, a smart way when you are training, if you are doing a set and you are not uh, feeling very well, even the program will tell you to go higher, it's good to repeat and do a good set, but you are satisfied and after that to add more. Yep, feeling okay. A lot more, 140. Before the Olympics, I was uh, so strong at this exercise by doing doubles. And I was doing uh, each Wednesday after uh, European Championship was finished. We had that one week deload and we started the preparation for Rio. I think it was uh, three months, 12 weeks, something like that. And each week, each Wednesday, I was doing uh, 190, two plus two. But, uh, What was even more challenging, I was doing, I was doing one, my warm up with the doubles 120, 2 plus 2, 2 sets, 150, 2 plus 2, 2 sets, and I was doing uh, 170, 2 plus 2, 180, 2 plus 2, 190, 2 plus 2, and again 170, 2 plus 2, 180, 190. So I was working in waves, two waves up to 190. 2 plus 2. My best before Rio 2 plus 2 was uh, 200 kilograms and I did, I succeeded to do one time. I don't know now if uh, athletes from uh, 102 or uh, 105 if uh, they was uh, succeeding to do with uh, 200 kilograms. 2 plus 2. So let's see. 140. You need to be determined, determined when you're doing clean jerk or snatch. To be very powerful, to be aggressive, even if you add more weight, it's not good to be soft, to think that you will miss, that it will not go well. You need to breathe. Exhale all your air through your mouth. And inhale as much as you can on your nose. 140, 2 plus 2, we'll try. I was feeling well, but here are the split jerk, second rep, it's a bit soft. I'm focusing here as well when I do these uh, doubles, to do them with a good form, to be powerful and uh, everything else, to feel that uh, everything is uh, going well, and not uh, doing, uh, to say like that, with uh, no matter how, only to do the reps, so only to say, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I succeed 2 plus 2 at this weight, but the technique was uh, very, very bad, so this is uh, not the proper way 
and to record yourself and uh, to make sure that the technique is good there as well so that you are powerful that you have a decent form and the clean as well and the jerk not having there too many compensation and uh, everything else to look very painful if it's like that i'll recommend you to work lighter test a bit your mobility to see where you are we have uh, on my website gabrielsacram.com a mobility course made in collaboration with uh, one of my friend coach petrican it's a very very smart guy and uh, the mobility course is designed for weightlifters so you'll have there some uh, tests and exercise that you didn't see anymore anywhere so it's uh, quite unique already some people they are signed up and uh, we receive a lot of uh, good feedback we will uh, keep adding uh, new exercise there on the mobility course and everything and uh, you'll have access all the time where after you purchase the mobility here it's same like in snatch when you are doing first time the set you see how it's the barbell your brain will uh, memorize and everything and now because you're trying second time it's supposed to be better if uh, second time it's worse that uh, probably means that uh, you can't coordinate very well or probably you are not prepared for that weight but usually when you are prepared and when you show your brain first time how is the weight and how you do it second time it should go much more 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 easier more easier and better so let's see 140 balance from start position to use legs lats back same time Because the last set at 140, the cleans was a very good. First split jerk was okay, but second, I was not uh, very happy about uh, how I was going. I will not go 150, uh, and instead I will redo the the sets here with uh, 140, and now. The third time, it's uh, supposed to be the best from uh, first two, and uh, we will need to see this one only if uh, we take the third place, the third set. Sorry. So I'll redo the sets, third sets here, same two plus two with uh, 140, and I will try it to do the best one, the clean, the jerk, everything, focusing, trying to visualize. Sorry, I'm trying to visualize visualizing now in my head what I was doing on the first two sets redo it redo it in my brain and now when I will enter here at 140 third sets I want to do it the best because now I know the cleans are going well I will uh, keep same but at uh, second jerk my front rack it's not same it's getting a bit loose here my position Barbell is staying a bit like that, staying a bit like that. I want to have the barbell in my full hand. And I stand here, elbows a bit in the sides to have my core strong, to breathe well. And after that, to complete the jerk. Because these are happen, especially when you are getting tired and uh, our body is not uh, performing. Same like at this one, and you start to be a bit soft. And uh, from there, starting to appear small issues in the technique that uh, it will lead you to a missed attempt.
fields are going very well. I feel them. I can do probably even more. But the jerk is not very well. And uh, this is happened also because last week I skipped it to say like that the clean and jerk. I was pretty tired. I was doing only some power cleans. Two weeks ago, I think I was doing power clean plus jerk. So I think the last full clean and jerk was probably three weeks ago. I think three or four weeks ago. And uh, this is the uh, feeling here on this session. <laughs> But overall, this uh, clean and jerk session going very well. I'm uh, pretty satisfied. I succeeded to do two sets at 140. No, sorry, two sets at 120. One set at uh, 130. And uh, three sets at 140. Two plus two, the cleans, very good at all. Split jerk, a bit uh, rusty, to say like that, in this session but was manageable, so next time it will go better for sure. Next time probably I'll try to do 150 if I am uh, feeling well. I feel it now a bit my legs as well. A bit tired, my uh, chest, shoulders. I was doing uh, this session a very killer bench press session. I was doing 10 reps, I feel a bit my chest, my shoulders, and uh, it's uh, normal because I cannot properly hold the barbell here. And when I'm keeping the barbell overhead, it's not uh, very, very well. Like my uh, upper body, it will be rested and strong. Now it's uh, tired because uh, those amount that I did in the upper body. We will uh, work now and uh, prepare for you a press program, like I said in my Instagram post. So that's why I am uh, keep testing and uh, practicing on myself first time and uh, we will release a beta version of the program. And after that, <coughs> we will <coughs> make the final program. It will be six weeks, like my uh, squat program, and uh, it will help you for sure to improve your press. So this was my clean and jerk session. I'll continue now with some uh, Romanian deadlifts. And after that, some uh, light squats, very, very light because I did yesterday as well. As I work it up to 170, I think, or 180, no, 170, I did. It's Saturday now, pretty short training session. Normally, I'm performing uh, this session Friday, but I delay it on Saturday to be able to record this uh, nice uh, footage here for YouTube, because uh, when there are people here in the gym, it's uh, pretty hard to record the music it's uh, going all the time and uh, it will be hard for you to hear me and now that's why everything is stopped music and only the camera recording here and i'm training with my girlfriend Michaela here in this session to prepare this uh, for youtube if you like uh, this uh, type of the videos to select like that for youtube i uh, released it First time a full uh, session like that with snatch, whereas work it up to 120. Now we have this one with the clean and jerk. And uh, this one, it will be released when this video, when the first video with the snatch reach 500 likes. And this video with the clean and jerk when reach 500 like, likes. Sorry. And if this video with uh, clean and jerks will reach 500 likes as well, we will do next one, best squats, for example, if you want. Let me know here in the comments if you have uh, any other uh, ideas to make better these videos, if you want to see something more, I don't know, to change the angles or something, whatever you have, we are uh, up to changes here to make better the videos and hopefully the will deliver you uh, good content for YouTube to be able to help you to improve your uh, snatching clean and jerk and uh, please uh, like I said let me know here in the comments and uh, we'll try to changing and improve the next videos 
Don't forget also to like and share this video to reach out more athletes because uh, it will help this channel to grow. And uh, if uh, more people are coming here and uh, the channel will grow, we will be able to do even more content like this one and probably switch fully to do only content for YouTube and the coaching and everything to be focused only on this one. If you, if you <coughs> like this video and if you feel they will help you. Thanks for watching and I hope we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.